So the odds for an India series victory is 1 is to 3. And the odds for an England series victory is 6.6 .6 to 1. That makes us overwhelming favourites. Dude, do we deserve to be overwhelming favourites? This is the times that I wish gambling was legal. These odds are looking very attractive. Let's start with the batting. Okay? Four English batsmen managed to score centuries. And you had a solid 82 by Hamid in the second innings. That's make their batting unit very strong. When you look at the Indian side of things, we had only three batsmen who scored over 50. You had Vijayan Pujara century and you had Ashwin who's become one of our best batsmen scoring 70. No one else managed to score over a half century. That's how bad it was, right? So England is definitely better on the batting side of it. Now bowling side, I want to come to you. India has always been known historically as the best players of spin in the world. Absolutely. And always having the best spinning unit in the world. And we're playing in India. Are we now at a stage where we are second best in this. Dude, there is no doubt in my mind that we are second best and have come off second best in this first test. If you just look at the second innings in this test match, England scored 260 and declared three down. We were on the mat, right? If it wasn't for Kohli digging his heels in and playing that match-saving knock, we would have lost the test match. So were we worse playing and bowling spin? There is no doubt in my mind. But why, you think? It's because England is in our heads. The last time they came and they defeated us 2-1, we had Graham Swan and Monty who spun England to victory. This time we've got Rashid, uh, Adil Rashid and we've got Moin Ali. They are in our heads. If we don't tackle this problem, this test series is gone. Yeah, and you have Ansari as well. So I think that's, that's a very bad point. So now they're better in two units. Let's talk about fielding. Which actually the less said the better. I mean, there's no question. India dropped five catches. So on a third time, England is even better in that Dude, unit. what do you expect? If in early in the morning you're going to be eating dosas and parathas and toasted butter, you're going to have butter fingers all over the field, right? We dropped three catches in the first hour. So if we don't get our feeling together, there is no way we are going to put any pressure on England in the second test at Vizac. And that's the big improvement I believe we need to make in the next test. The other improvement I think we need to make is in the bowling, is specifically uh, Amit Mishra. He gave away too many runs, too many short balls, too many, you know, over, over square leg. He doesn't get his act together. I think our spinning department is again going to ask too many questions for which our uh, opponents are going to have many, many answers. Uh, well, speaking about Vizac, look, we don't know anything about Vizac. It's never hosted a test match. We don't know what the pitch is going to be like. So I think the key is going to be in Vizac is going to be the toss. It's going to have a huge impact depending on what kind of wicket they do. Going back to the bigger question that we were talking about and that you asked me is, should we be overwhelming favourites? No. Should we be favourites? Yes. I think we're still going to pull off the series. You have a test match in Mohali where we haven't lost since 94, a test match in Chennai where we haven't lost since 99, and you know, your trap game you have in Wankhede, which there's no question because we lost the last two tests to England in Bombay. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're still going to pull off a series win. My, my call is 2 1 India. 2 1 is a brave call, my man. At this rate, I am going to have to call 1 all. It's going to be even Steven as far as I'm concerned. It's going to be close. But we'd love to know what you guys reckon.